Hey guys, the Beditor Editor. I'm coming at you guys with another video for Red Dead Online. I'm going to be showing you probably the best legitimate money method that you can do in the game. You'll also be getting a ton of XP from doing this. The first thing you'll need to do, though, if you haven't already acquired it, is get the Collector Roll. You can look up how to get it if she isn't on your map anymore. Usually she'll be this, like, golden circle on the map, and it'll say, uh, to be a collector or something like that. If it's not on the map anymore, you can look up her location on this map called Gene Rope Key, RDR2 Collector's Map. I'll put this in the description. I at least I hope I will remember to put it in the description because this map is going to be heavily involved in this video. Currently this month, for the whole entirety of this month, all the way until like August 5th or something, or I'm sorry, September 5th or something, we're going to be having double money on the collector sets that you sell. It's the sets, not the actual items themselves. So you'll have to get an entire set. Now if you use this map that I'm showing in the video, you can go through and get everything pretty much. And this resets once a day. So once every 24 hours, hours if you're Eastern Standard Time I believe it's 8 o'clock at night uh, and if it's in winter time, I believe it's 7 o'clock at night. There is going to be a lot of walking around in this and stuff, but all you'll have to do is just go around, pick up collectibles. You can single out specific ones that you want to find. You can search for them, whatever the case is. Uh, you can go to different locations, clear them out. You can use the little find new session glitch to get a bunch of, a bunch more bonus collectibles at different places. I have a playlist showing you quite a bit of the locations on the map that you can use. But normally the coin set sells for, I believe, $525. Uh, you'll be selling it for like a thousand fifty for this whole month. Now the thing about the coins though is each dig spot is random now. It didn't used to be like that. But if you go to a coin spot that's shown on the map, it's not guaranteed which coin you'll get. So if you're 14 of 15, it might be a little difficult to get that one that you're missing. But now there is a bunch of other stuff that you can get guaranteed pieces for, and that's for the tarot card, the flowers, some of the jewelry, the alcohol bottles, just anything that isn't under the ground that you have to dig up won't be randomized. So it would be a much easier time for you to get sets of cards and flowers and stuff they won't sell for as much uh, but the coins will sell for a lot I believe the coins sell for a lot the jewelry sells for a lot the family heirloom sells for a lot and I believe the arrowheads sell for a good bit but even if you don't get full sets you'll still get really good money from just selling the individual items to Madame Nazar now she does move to a random location every day uh, so you'll have to look up her location as well, but luckily the map that I'm going to uh, link in the description will show you her location on top of where all the other collectibles are at that current time. But that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button and you'll see more. I learned all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Why don't you go suck better at it, dick, you little cunt?